Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the third and final episode of Ted Bruce Seller of this weekend. With me, your most gracious host, Ted. It is currently 18 past 8 on the 16th of August 2020, and I hope I'm finding you all in a good general state of affairs on this Sunday evening. If I'm not, then I hope things get better very promptly for you, and I also hope that we're all able to get back to your normal lives outside of this, you know, lockdown and pandemic and everything. So, I hope that gets along as soon as possible. But, to finish off this weekend, I'm going to review something with a little bit of an interesting flavour, a little bit of zang, you know, because I, when I was a little kid, I always liked having apple uh, crumble on weekends, on particularly on Sunday, just because, you know, it was a nice way to sign off the weekend, really. Have it with, like, custard or yoghurt or ice cream or something like that. And sometimes I'd have apple crumble with rhubarb in it. Now, I'm taking a look today at a drink that has rhubarb in it, and this is a Rub IPA, which is a French, Belgian, I think, India Pale Ale that has rhubarb in it. Now, I've heard sort of like Franco-Belgian, sort of Lambic and Kriek style beers before. Kriek being a Belgian style of beer that's flavoured primarily with cherry, and Lambic beers being usually flavoured with something like, you know, apple or mango or something like that. So, I'm interested to see what this is like, because in my opinion, my record or my experiences with, you know, French and Belgian fruit beers is pretty good. And admittedly, though, that's usually with like fruit based, like lugs or fruit based contemporary beers, but I've never tried a Franco Belgian fruit flavoured ale, so I'm interested to see what this is like. Now, this is $3.99 from the uh, wine barrel on Western Road in Hove. I quite like the design of the label, but I feel like it could just be a bit more striking and a bit more dynamic, so it's not going to leave much of an impression on me, but 5 out of 5.5 .5 out of 10 for the label. I don't know. I do like the fact that it's a flip cap, you know, top, so I can reuse this bottle at a later point. Oh, there we are. Bloody hell. Right, let's give it a sniff and hopefully give ourselves a good first impression. Okay, I can smell a bit of that bitterness and that like, the little bitter kick of like a usual Indian pale ale, and then there's like a nice little sharpness of the rhubarb, but it's not too overpowering, so... It's giving me a good impression that this will be like uh, an IPA with like a, just a hint of rhubarb, which is kind of what I'm hoping for, because rhubarb is a pretty strong flavour, as I'm sure you can all agree. So yeah, smells nice, I'll give that a 9 out of 10 for the smell. So let's drink this and uh, see what it's actually like, so bottoms up. It's got an interesting flavour because when you initially swallow it down, the first taste when like it first goes into your mouth, you get that bitterness of like a normal IPA, and then when you swallow it down, you get this nice little smooth fizzling out of like this light sharpness of our, of uh, rhubarb. So like, there's two very distinct flavours here, and they contrast very starkly against each other, but like they don't clash with each other actually, so they actually work together quite well. I mean, the finish doesn't really feel like a usual finish of like an IPA, it feels more like the flavour of like a rhubarb flavoured fruit beer, for lack of a better term. And um, yeah, the two flavours there really complement each other quite nicely. The, the underlying taste is kind of just there, like you don't, that the first half of the taste is like of a, just a standard like sharpish IPA, and then you've got this really interesting like mix of beer and rhubarb afterwards. But it tastes nice, and I was also going to say actually, the, it's a fair bit stronger than uh, than yesterday's drink because this is six point nine percent alcohol volume, so. It's got a bit of a kick to it, but um, it doesn't come across in the taste. Like This feels like one of those deceptively nice drinks where it's a nice drink, and it, but it also doesn't taste as strong as it is, if you get what I mean. So, yeah, no, th this is quite interesting. I, It's got like kind of flavours to it that I would expect it to have, but it's, um, 
yeah, it doesn't it doesn't taste like how I think it would. It, those flavors don't mix together how, like how I think they would. But um, no, I'm pleasantly surprised. This is really really nice. Um, I feel like it could have been slightly cheaper, maybe like buy at least a quid or something. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy to have bought this. I probably will buy this for myself again once or twice in the future. So. I would actually recommend this for not just beer drinkers, but alcohol drinkers in general. You've got like, this is one of those things I feel you've got to try at least once. So yeah, really, really well recommended. I'll give this. I'll give it a nine out of ten. It's pretty damn good. There's just a little extra edge of. Um, actually, no. I'll give it. Um, No, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. It's, it, there's just like... I just wish there was like a tiny bit extra sourness to the flavour and such, but um, no, generally overall this is like a very, very competently brewed IPA. Probably one of the best I've ever had, actually. So yeah, I, re I really, really recommend this. So yeah, if you guys like this video, leave a like, share and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future episodes of Ted's Booze Cellar, leave them in the comment section below like always. And if you want to check out anything else I do online, I'll leave the links to my other social medias and YouTube channels in the video description below. But yeah, I uh, Rube IPA India Pale Ale from page 24 gets the uh, recommendation from me. So yeah, very, ooh, pardon me, very solidly done. So yeah, very, very nice. So until next time. Have fun, stay safe with whatever you're doing, don't do anything I wouldn't do, wash your hands, take a mask with you when you go to the shops, drink responsibly, know your limits, and I'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Brew Cellar. Ciao.